very recently, and this probably gets back to the mor morality or immorality, we've seen quite a few incidents where uh, prisoners, and uh, I think it's a known fact that quite a few of the people who have been brought to the Nation of Islam have discovered their righteousness while incarcerated in a prison. And uh, one of the things that most uh, males, and now I understand from the news that's coming out, a lot of females have to deal with, is homosexual relations in prisons. Uh, how can they serve the nation of Islam? And does the fact that a man is a homosexual have anything to do that would negate his coming into the nation and being dealt with by the nation of Islam? Let me say this, my dear brother, and to you and our viewing audience. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has been raised up by Allah not to condemn our people, but to reclaim the fallen black man of America. No matter what we are engaged in now, we can be changed from that state into a better state. And for us to say that we will take this one but leave this one off, who are we to pass that kind of judgment on our brothers and sisters. We know the question should be asked, whence came this perversion or this deviation? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has caused us to see and understand that when Allah created this universe, He created everything in the universe to obey a law. The sun obeys the law under which it is created, the moon, the stars. This planet, Earth, obeys the law of its creation. And what we see in the creation is that no creature deviates from the law under which it is created. The planet moves in its orbit, not disobeying the law one fraction of a second. So teaches Messenger Muhammad and the astronomers can bear him witness. I don't care where you find an ant on the planet, a bee, a bird, a fowl, fish. They all obey the nature in which they're created. Man is not created to deviate from a certain nature in which he's created. The planet Earth is created to incline to the plane of its orbit. 23 degrees, 30 minutes. The planet inclines to the plane of its orbit. This is a natural inclination or leaning. Man by nature is inclined to and leans toward the female. And the female by nature leans toward the male. Now we want to know whence came this deviation. Whence came this deviation. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said to us that it was not until a made man came to our planet, a man that was made 6,000 years ago, made from the original man, but made opposite to the nature of the original, made to deviate from the natural way of God and man made an opposer of the natural way. So naturally, if a man is an opposer of a natural way and deviates from the natural course, his whole lifestyle will be a lifestyle of deviation. Listen very carefully. The Bible says he changed the truth of God into a lie. And when you pervert the truth of God and make it a lie, then what follows from that is a system of perversion, a system of deviation. We didn't learn this freakish behavior in Africa. You cannot find brothers in Africa walking around with broken wrists. You don't find women in Africa running with women. We learn that behavior in our sojourn in America. So since we learn this behavior, we can unlearn this behavior. Again, again, 
There is a scripture that reads, as a man thinketh, so is he. If you make a man to think like a woman, we have seen that thought is so powerful, it projects itself totally on the man's brain and it begins to reshape the material so that a man who thinks like a woman his face his features his movement everything about him begins to change according to his thoughts so the scripture says behold i make all things new <laughs> so we must get rid of the deviation and bring man back to the natural order in which he's created. And the only way to do that is to place in man's brain a new thought. And that new thought will bring up a new idea. And that new thought and idea will reshape the matter of the man, change the form of the man, change the expression of the man. There is no such thing as a homosexual that cannot be changed. There is no such thing as a lesbian that cannot be changed. Almighty God, Allah is here to change us all up again into a new growth and to bring us back to the natural order in which we're created. <laughs>